Yo, Le LeBron James is winning right now. And this is why you as a producer, you need to pay attention to what he's done and start applying it to your music production business. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest content. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you know exactly when that content drops. So, shout out to LeBron James, man. The dude is killing it. And it like this isn't even a sports YouTube channel, right? But number one, he's from Ohio, Akron, Ohio. Shout out to Ohio. That's my home state. Go Buckeyes. Um, but he's doing some tremendous things as an athlete um, and, and just as, as a person, just period. Like the dude is just, like the dude has his own academy, like a, an entire school. Like that's that's dope. So listen, I came across this article on CBS Sports and I'm, I'm always interested in, you know, when it comes to millionaires, billionaires, like what makes up the million and the billion, right? Because we know it's not it's not all one thing right you know the, they say the average millionaire has at least seven streams of income um so we know lebron has his hands in a variety of different things like the dude was literally just in space jam like it's kind of a big deal right so let's talk about this the cbs sports article right like let's let's just let's just pull this joint up and see what it says so it says according to sportico lebron has earned 330 million in playing salary since getting drafted in 2003 so that's the amount of money that he made like actually playing basketball like his his main thing is basketball if you didn't know he's he's a hooper while bringing in a whopping 700 million through endorsements merchandise licensing and media his endorsements with at&t beats blaze pizza gmc pepsico uh Rem Remoa and Walmart bring in over a hundred million annually alone. That's on top of the gobs of money he makes through his partnership with Nike, with which he signed a lifetime deal back in 2016 that brings in 30 million annually on its own. 330 million, right? In playing salary since getting drafted in 2003. So literally basketball, his main, you know, his main sport, the, the thing that he's great at, right, is not the bulk of his income. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Now, the other day I was on YouTube live and we were having a discussion. Somebody had asked me like, you know, what's something that you think producers these days need to know or, or what do I think about producers these days or something like that. And one of the things that I talked about was thinking outside the box and thinking well beyond just beats 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 right like at some point your business has to be bigger i mean it doesn't have to be but i feel like in in today's you know society and, and business and things like that i feel like there's plenty of opportunity for it to be bigger than just beats i know so many producers just focus on just the beats, right? And that's dope for a certain period of time, but there's so much more out there. There's so much, there's so, there's so many opportunities, you know, to, to be able to build a brand and be able to leverage certain things that go beyond just beats, right? So let's talk about how LeBron's situation translates into the music production world, you know, as a producer, as a, a music entrepreneur, right? So as you can see, a lot of LeBron's income is is it's just astronomical, but it's outside of just basketball. But this is the thing. This is the formula, right, that I've picked up on. So LeBron spent years, like, like his life, like becoming great at basketball, at one thing. He focused on this one thing, being a great basketball player, right? And being a great basketball player 
it, he built everything around that and and just focus on that like the power of focusing on one thing is is just it's crazy how powerful it is right so he focused on his one thing which which was basketball right and then he took that thing he became great at it and he built a brand around it and then he then took that and leveraged it leveraged his platform to create all these other opportunities that now make way more money than just him playing basketball the one thing that he worked so hard to become great at and he's you know still great he's one of the greatest basketball players of our time um but he thought bigger than just the game of basketball because that one day he's not going to play basketball and he still has to be able to generate revenue generate income um and, and pass things down to his family and the next generation um and he knew that because the way he established himself in the league um in business and things like that outside of basketball just goes to show you you know how business minded um, and, and future minded he was, right? So how does that translate in the producer role, right? So it's dope for a moment in time to focus on this one thing. And that one thing is producing music, making dope beats, like becoming a dope producer, right? So we take the time to focus on that one thing, becoming the best producer you can you can be, the, the, the best sound designer you can be, the best whatever it is right find something that you can just become great at and be known for that one thing build your brand around that one thing and then after so long of focusing on that one thing building that one thing becoming great becoming known for that one thing now you can take that you can take the platform that you built from that one thing and create multiple things around it that can generate probably even more money than the one thing that started this whole spiral of passive income opportunities that it's just just insane to think like a billion is a lot of money like it takes so long to get from one million to like a billion like that's that's a gap like that's a jump this is my advice for all the producers out there instead of trying to do a million things especially if you're starting out find the one thing that you want to become great at that you want to be known for that you feel like is your unfair advantage or whatever whatever you want to hurt work hard at and just conquer and just be great at focus on that and then start to think about how you can leverage that into other opportunities right so i'm a producer i make beats i love making beats that's dope i got i became dope at it dope at mixing all that stuff playing keys whatever but now it's just like okay how can we leverage that how can how can we leverage the brand to be able to create more partnerships that can be mutually beneficial and then in turn bring in more income right like we have to think bigger than just sitting in our rooms in our studios and just making beats all day like there's so much more out there than literally just making beats unless that's just if that's all you want to do that's dope but i'm telling you like you if you want more if you want to expand and really take advantage of the opportunities that we have as entrepreneurs um especially in the, the day of the internet um just think big think big it's okay to focus on one thing for a certain time but start thinking outside the box and thinking about more opportunities outside of just the obvious making beats question of the day have you seen the new space jam like i just i gotta know like i mean it's a thing you know space jam the first one i went back and watched the, the original space jam and realized like how horrible the acting was but I love that movie back back in the day when I was a kid, man. So it's nostalgic. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you checked it out. Let me know what you think, man. Shout out to LeBron James. He's killing it. Um, shout and, and Space Jam did some some dope numbers, too. So um, shout out to him, man. Super proud of him. Um, proud that he's from Ohio and just proud of, um, of the man that he is and, and the integrity that he carries um, in his career. So, yeah. If you thought the video was dope, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.